What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so <laughs> not gonna lie, this is the ex this is the second take of uh of this episode right here because unfortunately I uh did not connect my uh my microphone all the way to my capture card right here. So yeah, round two. And you know what? It kinda helped me a little bit because I kinda know what I wanna do now. I wanna make this episode better. So here we are going into the next gym battle right here, guys. Our sixth? Yeah, no, our fifth gym battle right here. And unfortunately, we got three Pokemon who have already surpassed the, the level capping, which is, what was it? Dra Dragonair, Sandslash, and there's another Pokemon right there that I had. Um, Let me see. Let me see. Okay, so let's see. Uh, uh, actually, we had, we only had two Pokemon. Huh. Holy crap. Okay, so two Pokemon that we actually got through a trade, which is Dragonair and Sandslash, will not be on our team for this battle because we aren't unable to use them since they have already passed the cap for level 50s. Instead, we're going to be using good old Budkiss right here and Dubasaur, a, the, the same Bulbasaur that I got early on in this adventure. Now I had evolved it into a Venusaur, so might as well share the wealth right here and just battle everybody that we see now. So let's get this going. Again, another gym battle against Koga. And would you look at that? Holy crud. Oh, damn. Koga knows how to... Yeah, he knows how to live in... <laughs> Look at this guy. Yo, champ in the making. We have the Safari Zone here in Fuchsia City, where you can meet tons of different Pokemon. And at the Fuchsia City Gym, welcome trainers who've met lots of uh, Pokemon. So, I'll need to see if you've managed to catch at least 50 species of Pokemon. Dot dot dot. Look at that. We got 93 species. Let me in. That means you can. You, that means you're now worthy of challenging the my gym. Your gym. The heck? Hold on. Oh my God. <laughs> Would you look at that? And uh, well, Koga, right here. He made social distancing and wearing your mask cool before it became a thing. Look at this guy, looking like a pimp and a true ninja right here. <laughs> Startled by my disguise, are you? I shall use my intricate style of confound and destroy you in the battle as well. The hell? And uh, whoa! <laughs> oh damn! Hey, look, look at that! <laughs> he was in on it. Oh crud! I'm amazed every time I see that. He looks just like me, right? Now head on in, head on in and experience his moves for yourself. Okay. Alrighty. So, as you can see. It is not that easy to get to Koga. As you can tell, there is smoke going up and down every single time. That is usually indicating where the walls are around this area right here. So, now normally we'd go right here to battle this guy, but no, it's actually this side right here. So, let's go right ahead and, and find our first battle right here. Now, first and foremost, let's go ahead and switch out some Pokemon. Now, I'm not necessarily going to be battling with, uh, with Budkiss and Dubasaur. It's, they're more there for support and you know just just to gain some more levels like I said I will be I will be leveling up some Pokemon having some different teams and all that stuff But is, is not completely out of the loop for this one So here we are going up against tamer Phil and he's gonna be coming out with his neat arena. Okay, bring it Just bring it. Let's go And here we have Mew de Uno as you guys already know, Mewtwo is a psychic type Pokemon, one of the greatest of all time. Unfortunately, this Psy Wave is not that effective right now, so I probably should have gone to Saffron City to get the, uh, to get what you call it, the, the move, uh, what you call it, Psychic. Yeah, would have actually helped out a little bit better. So here we go again. Oh yes, Psy Wave for the win. Yeah, buddy. So as you can see, we kicked ass. And we're going to get for Neat Arena, so let's go ahead and switch out right here. Let's go for the Nido Queen because we do have a uh, Drill Run. If you guys remember, what was it? Uh, poison type Pokemon. They are weak against Dragon, or not Dragon types, but they are weak against Ground type Pokemon. So make sure to have something of a Ground type Pokemon around here. So let's go right ahead and use that Drill Run. See what we can do. Look at this. Oh, yes. Say goodbye to Nidorino. Oh, yes. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. Kicking butt, taking names, doing everything, and Tamer Phil has been defeated. 
Alrighty, okay, okay, so let's see. Well, we've already defeated this guy, so now it is finally time to us, for us to go and uh, try and manage to get around this area. As you can see, it comes every so often. We're going to be switching up Pokemon right here. I believe this guy has, uh, let's see, what kind of Pokemon does, uh, if I remember correctly, because again, this is my second run, or, this is my second run right here. Uh, let's see, switch out, oh, you know what? Screw it. No, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hold on, I just remembered. Let's go with Sparky right here. Now, wasn't really going to use Sparky until the last battle, but yes, this guy right here is telling me about strategy and how it's, yeah, it's not, like, it's not all about strength. It's about strategy, too. So, here we go, Ace Trainer Caden wants the battle coming out with his muck. All right. I have a... Very nice feeling that this guy's gonna go for a I don't know I don't know a freaking uh, I think he's gonna be going for a protect. Let's see what happens. Here we go, Thunderbolt, and like I said, protect. This is my second time recording this episode. Uh, my first time, I thought that I actually got the whole voice recording in, but then I checked my capture card right here, guys, and uh, yeah. It wasn't fully connected, so yeah, this is my second time doing this. I kind of know what's going on, and Muck has been paralyzed. And this guy right here is trying to moon blast me to the moon. Not strong enough. But our special attack has fallen, so let's see what Splishy Splash can do right here. I like saying that word, Splishy Splash. So here we go, Splishy Splash. Ah, crud. And... Well, here comes another Moon Blast. This guy is really, is really making my life a living hell right now. So let's go with a Floaty Fall. Floaty Flow. Oh, crud. And, uh, yes, more Protect Attacks because this guy is a jerk. And, well, let's try it one more time. Let's go with a Floaty Fall. Come on, Pikachu. Use them balloons for death. Oh, uh, yes. Look at that. Muck defeated. Alrighty, look at that. Kicking ass, taking names. And Dubasaur growing to level 33. Okay, so we're gonna continue on right here. Beedrill, of course, is also a flying type Pokemon, so we all know how this is gonna end. Let's go, Thunderbolt. Here we go. Thunderbolt. Suck it, Beedrill. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, yes, and Caden has been defeated. Okay, so that's going to be the theme right here with all these Pokemon trainers using uh, Protect all the time, and I'm just waiting for the smoke to clear, and well, we're going to have to go right here. Now, I do remember this guy having, uh, let's see, he does have, he does have Ghost-type Pokemon, which, in this game, Still are poison type Pokemon too. So this guy's like, I was an uh, I was a magician once upon a time, but I dreamed of becoming a ninja, so I joined the gym. Okay, that's cool. That's awesome. I mean, I have nothing against you for doing that. So let's go right ahead and take this guy on right now. Like I said, <laughs> he does have his uh, his specific Pokemon right here, which is uh, what you might call it a poison and ghost type Pokemon. So. Let's go with a Dazzling Gleam. Oh, no, not Dazzling Gleam. Uh, what should we call it? Uh, Dark Pulse right here. And it is super effective. Haunter has been defeated. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, look at that. And, uh, well, that takes care of that. That still doesn't uh, ignore the fact that this guy here is uh, also a ghost, a ghost type trainer. So let's go ahead and battle this guy right here. Alrighty. Bring it. Just bring it. Let's go, Juggler Harry. Wanting to battle us with another Haunter. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's see what ends up happening right now. Let's go, Dark Pulse Attack. Come on. And one hit KO. Yes, it does it. Look at that. Alrighty. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. And. Well, he's coming out with a Haunter, so I'm going to continue on right here. And, well, let's see what ends up happening right here. Let's go for a Dark Pulse attack. Let's go, let's go. 
<laughs> Hunter has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh my god. So, again, he's going to be coming out with Haunter. It's going to be an easy battle right here. Dark Pulse for the win. Now, I should have gone to Saffron City to get that Psychic Attack, because Psy Wave is a shit move. And, well, look at that. Protect does anything. If it does anything, it's going to protect this guy. So, let's continue on right here with a Dark Pulse for the win. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. Hunter has been defeated. I feel good about that. Alrighty, and Juggler Harry, yeah, definitely not enjoying his little stay right there. So, I think we have like two more trainers to battle right here. Now, I'm just gonna have to wait for the smoke to clear or to come up, and there is an entrance right there, and this one will lead us to, well, this girl right here first. Actually, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go ahead and go for... Leonardo. It needs to grow to level 50 in this episode. Master Koga descended from a family of ninjas. A tradition that has lasted for uh, hundreds of years. What did you descend from? I'll tell you where. I don't know. Pokemon trainers. Pimps. I don't know. Awesome people. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I know where I descended from. Saiyans. I got the Saiyan royal blood. I got pride in me. I get defeated. I get back stronger. That's right, guys. I am a Super Saiyan. Let's get this. And wow, I, cr I picked the wrong Pokemon yet again against this chick. So let's go ahead and use Budkiss. Okay. So welcome back, Budkiss. How have you been? I missed you, you lovable poochie, poochie dog right here. Look at this guy. And the Solar Beam. Ah, oh, crud. So we got to beat this guy quickly. All right. Flamethrower. Crap baskets. There's that solar beam. Ah, oh, snap. Okay, so it didn't really defeat me, but here comes a flamethrower. Oh, yes, and... Come on, one more flamethrower. Alrighty, so this gives me a chance to actually beat this guy. Okay, come on, flamethrower for the win. That's right. Way to go, Buckus. That's right, Buckus hasn't lost a step right here. That's a good boy. You know what? I'm gonna reward you. I'm gonna reward you with something special, and that comes in the in the in the, the gift of a Firestone, which will be sometime pretty soon right here. So let's go straight to Leonardo because we're going up against a Weezing right here. Now this guy gave me an issue with the, the first recording around, so let's see what happens. Come on. Let's go. I'm gonna beat this guy real quickly, so let's see. Let's go with the Surf Attack right here. Of course, Weezing is probably gonna be using uh, Protect somehow. And yes, that takes a nice chunk out of it, it, its HP, but here comes Sludge Bomb and no poison. So let's go again. Surf Attack. Let's go, Leonardo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Say goodbye. Okay, and, uh, well, you're more skilled than I thought! Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, so that's another trainer down, and here we have one more individual. And I may have, yeah, gone on a little too quick. I also study the way with, uh, study the way of the ninja with Master Koga. Ninja have a long history of using creatures. Okay. Bring it, homeboy. So we're gonna be going up against Tamer Edgar right here. And this guy will be coming out with his Arbok. All right. Let's go, Leonardo. Let's win. Okay, so let's see. Let's go with a Scald Attack. Let's try and uh, burn this guy up right here. Chances are this guy's probably going to just paralyze us. And, well, I was correct. Why? Because it did happen in the last one. So let's go one more time with a Scald. Not to burn it, just to... Yeah. Just to beat it, and this chick right here, good god. Okay, here we go. Look at that, Arbok. You have been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Look at me. Look at kicking ass right here. And, well, this guy's going to be coming out with another Arbok, so let's go with this Smasher right here and use its Drill Run. Okay, alrighty. Mm-hmm. Drill Runs for the win, and Tamer Edgar coming out with another Arbok right here. 
And, well, one thing's for sure, I really do enjoy seeing some new Pokemon in this gym. I mean, uh, when the original generation and then the, the remakes came out, uh, you normally see Pokemon with poison capabilities. Mostly psychic type Pokemon and knows how to use, uh, what was it called? Poison gas. Not a poison type Pokemon. That's pretty clear right there. And these guys are actually using poison type Pokemon right now, so... Kudos to Nintendo or to the guys who created this game for bringing in those poison type Pokemon. It's pretty cool. Pretty good. And Smasher defeats everybody. And Dubasaur grows to level 34. That's right, Edgar. We defeated you. Suck it. Okay. So now it is time for us to battle Koga, the ninja leader, the ninja master. But first, we gotta heal up our Pokemon because uh, this is no easy task right here. Actually, not that. Uh, let's go right here. Let's use a full heal onto this gentleman. And then let's go ahead and use some full heals onto this. And let's see, this guy. This guy. And we're gonna have to use one on Sparky as well because, yeah, we're gonna be battling some pretty, pretty difficult Pokemon right here. So, let's see, I do believe he starts out with a Muck. So, first Pokemon that comes to mind is Smasher right here since it does have Drill Run. So, Let's go right ahead and battle this guy. What do you have to say? Oh, damn! He disappeared again. <laughs> oh, shit. He's using the multiply attack right here. A mere child like you dares to challenge me? The very idea makes me shiver with mirth. I don't know what mirth is, but that sounds disgusting. Very well. I shall show you the true terror as a ninja master. Oh, damn. Bring it. Opponents can't lay a hand on me. As poison brings their steady doom. The hell? Okay. Despair as you feel the creeping horror of poison type Pokemon. Okay. Alrighty. This guy, he, he's asking for a hurt. And so, here we go, guys. Gym Battle Koga, or Gym Leader Koga, wants to challenge us. And he will be coming out with a wheezing balls. Ugh, thought he was going to come out with muck, but hey, you know what? It's all good. I can still beat this guy. Let's go. Body slam this guy. Let's try and paralyze him. And of course, being like a, the asshole that he is, he's going to use a protect attack right here. So let's try this one more time. Come on. Come on. Body slam. Paralysis. Come on. Ah, crud. Yes. Okay. So paralysis is doing it. And yes, you are protect or you are pra paralyzed. So now it is time for us to just destroy you. Let's go. And yes, this guy is wow going to use explosion. And this move right here is a really, 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 really bad one. Doesn't take it all the way. And uh, yes, we have defeated you. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. So let's see. He's coming out with a Venomoth. Let's go to our good old buddy, Sparky. Alrighty. Come on, Sparky. Let's get this. Let's do it. Alrighty. Okay, so let's see. I want to see what you can do right here. I'm pretty sure I can beat you with a good old Thunderbolt attack. Come on. Thunderbolt. Nearly does it. Good God. And, uh, oh, crud. Sludge Bomb, and uh, wow, for the second time we got poisoned, but guess what? <laughs> we get healed because the power of love always overtakes poison. So let's go, Thunderbolt, for the win. Eat it. That's right. That's right. That is how you do it. And Koga's about to send out Muck, so let's go switch back to our good old buddy Smasher right here. See what this guy can do. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's get this. Okay, alrighty. Let's go with a drill run. Please do not use protect. It used protect. Good God. Oh, you suck, man. You suck. Alrighty, so let's try this one more time. Drill run. Come on. Drill run does it. Nearly takes out Muck, and, uh, well, this guy is trying to spirit bomb us to the moon right here, so that's definitely not going to happen right there. So let's try this again. Drill run, and good God, come on, stop protecting yourself, you asshole. You just lost the match. 
you're going to lose the match. So here we go again. Let's go. Alrighty, and that's how you do it right there, guys. Alrighty. <laughs> and that's how you gain another level. So he's going to be coming out with another Pokemon right here. I did not see who it was. So let's go with Sparky because that's a for sure thing right there. All right, Smasher. What do you got? What do you got right here? Coming out with Golbat. All righty. <laughs> I chose the right Pokemon right now. All right, let's do this. Thunderbolt. This guy does not have Protect. I know it. Here we go. Thunderbolt does its thing. Say goodbye to Golbat. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that's how you defeat Koga. I have proven my worth. I am now an official ninja. If you want to become a ninja, defeat this guy. Here, take a soul patch. That's right. Give me a high five, buddy. Eat it. Alrighty, Soul Bash. Now that you have the Soul Bash Pokemon up to level 60, we'll head your command or your heed your command if you receive them in a trade. Ah, take this too. We get ourselves the TM27 Toxic. Very good move. Still within that TM27 lies the move Toxic. It is an it is an ancient move passed down through my family for 400 years. When it with Toxic's poisonous effect, a Pokemon will take more and more damage with each turn that passes in battle. It will surely terrorize your opponents. Okay, alrighty. Let's see what Pikachu has to say. Look at that. That's right, buddy. You know what you're gonna do? I'm gonna pet you right here. That's right. I'm gonna pet you right here because you deserved it. Look at that, good boy. Now I'm gonna pet you in the belly. There we go. Pet you in the belly. And then, you know what? I'm going to get you some food because you kind of need food. And look how much food we got. And that's from all the capturing of Pokemon. And come on, buddy. Eat it. There we go. Good boy. Alrighty. So that is that. And after defeating Koga, there's no more walls. Look, if only it were that easy to just go through this whole gym. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that is pretty much it for this episode. Now we are enabled to actually use our Pokemon who have passed the cap of level 50. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to actually go straight to Saffron City in the next episode. Team Rocket's on the loose. We got to stop them. We got to be heroes. I do not know why I did that. So I'm going to take that off. Sorry, buddy. Anywho, in the next episode, we will be going into the next uh, city, that's Saffron, and we're going to be taking a look at what Team Rocket's been doing. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.